Hi, this is John Stevens with uh, MissingDrivers.com. Today we're going to go ahead and show you, uh, this is part one of two videos. In this first video we're actually going to show you the installation of Driver Cure. It's one of the product reviews uh, that we're going to be doing. Again, that's for MissingDrivers.com forward slash driver dash cure. And once you're there on the site, uh, for our viewers, you'll already be there. Just go ahead and hit click the uh, download link. And I always recommend just saving the file now. If you're running, we're using Firefox, but if you're running Internet Explorer, which most people still are, uh, um, you'll have the save as or run now. I, I'd always do the save now, save to file, and then you're going to go ahead and notice a window similar to this will pop up and just select the location where you want to, to save it. Uh, if you're using Vista, I'd go ahead and recommend uh, um, to the desktop or my documents or something along those lines. In this instance, I'm going to go ahead and hit desktop, save. And once the program's done downloading, it looks something like this. And if you're using Internet Explorer, once again, it'd just be like, hey, run now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run this. And if you're using Vista, this does work with all uh, Vista versions. That's 32 and 64, along with uh, all of the four flavors of Vista that's out there. Today, we're actually going to be running this on XP. We're just going to go ahead and hit OK. You're going to get a dialog box pops up, say run. And once again, if you were using Vista, um, you would notice that uh, um, you'll get the uh, the UAC uh, uh, is most likely going to be turned on for you so you just say yes allow this program through and we're just going to leave a lot of the defaults this is pretty simple stuff agree to it agree install and this is where you can choose the install location I generally recommend you always just use the default that's the best way to go uh, that way if you need support they can help you out too if you're having troubles so go ahead and hit install We'll just wait another second, and then you'll see that this is run here now. You don't necessarily have to run it now. Uh, um, you will notice it if you hit the Windows Start button. It'll be under All Programs too as well. But we're going to go ahead and hit Run now. And once a box first opens up, that's just basically it. All you have to do really now to get started is just go ahead and uh, hit the Start Scan. We'll just show you how it works here. And there you go. Now you're going to see quite a bit of the results that, that are up here. And if we look out here, yep, yep, well, they're looking pretty good. So, right, and this is just uh, includes the uh, actual installation. We'll actually show you, get more into the program, actually show you how to use the program here in the next video. So, once again, this is uh, John Stevens from missingdrivers.com. Take care.